When asked, what is your favorite Green Day song? What song do you say? Holiday, Boulevard, Broken Dreams, Knowledge, Highway to Hell, Desatic Age, 21 Guns, Olaf, Paper Lanterns, Welcome to Paradise, Welcome to Paradise, Christy Road, Take Back, Minority, Suffocate, Favorite Son, Homecoming, Jesus of Suburbia, 99 Revolutions, Know Your Enemy, Misery, Brain Stew, Jaded, Basket Case, Longview, 1000 Hours, On the Wagon, Fod, When I Come Around, 2000 Light Years Away, Good Riddance, Time of Your Life, and lastly, Hitching a Ride. How many songs did you guys recognize? There's going to be a list in the description. I'm going to do a disc discography of alternative rock bands. This time on the table is of course Green Day. Now this is for only EPs. If I do albums it's going to be sectioned out. CD singles will be here but I mostly want to talk about it if I own it. So tonight I'm going to do a review of Green Day's second EP, Slappy. Recorded in a few hours on April 20th, 1990 at R of Ear Studio with Andrew Engineering. Mixed April 23rd and a few more hours. Produced by Andrew and Green Day. Mastered by John Golden at K-Disc Hollywood. Front cover photo by Al Sabranti. Back by Sean Hooks. Layout and Green Day Bits by A. By a. a. Ron Come to Bus. Green Day's 39 Smooth LP and 1000 Hours EP are also available on Lookout. That's good to know. So let's talk about this EP. First of all, this is Mike's dog that they nicknamed Slappy. I mean, look how cute it is. Dog, it's a doggy. Aw, Aiden, look at the doggy. <clears throat> the EP is a tinted red and pink color. Looks pretty cool, actually. You look at it and go, yeah, it's a raw album. Assuming you don't know that it is an EP at first glance. My vinyl is a pink pressing, but the actual vinyl is black. Now let's talk about all of these songs. Paper Lanterns is a forgettable song. That doesn't mean it is bad by any means. It's just forgettable. It's about a guy wanting stress relief because he wants attention from a girl that he likes, but he feels like she isn't really being a good friend. He just wants time with her. It's just that he feels like that her boyfriend is taking all of her precious time. Lyrics to back this up. I find it hard to keep control when you're with your boyfriend. I do not mind if all I am is a friend to you, but all I want to know right now is if you're if if you think about me too. Remember when you were 15? Me either. When Billy was 15, he decided to write this next track called "Why Do You Want Him." Just the track title is a message to girls that are in abusive relationships. She is being left by her boyfriend when he was abusive and hitting her. Why do you want him if he's making you cry and making you feel bad about yourself? She wonders if it's right or wrong. Let's hope for the best. Lyrics to back this up. I saw you sitting alone with a sad look on your face. You call him on the phone. Looks like he left you without a trace. Now, now many days have gone by and you still just sit there and cry. We all like the song Basket Case, right? Well, have you actually bought the CD single of it? Probably not, though I have two of them, plus another CD single of Basket Case on its way, as well as like a set. Oops. Anyway, 409 and your coffee maker. That song is unmixed in the Basket Case single. It was originally going to be re recorded for Dookie, but they decided not to. Oh well, though. 49 in your coffin maker is a great song. It is really humble and catchy. I like Mike singing for the chorus in it. I think the song was written because of Billy's anxiety, which makes sense because it's on some singles of Basket Case. This is also Billy's favorite song on this EP. Lyrics to back this up. I'm looking back now at where I have gone and why I could not seem to get along. My interests are longing to break from these change break from these chains. These change that control my future same. Maybe I was just brainwashed to think that way. If you can play guitar, you might get caught up on stage. Knowledge, originally by Operation Ivy. This song is a classic. Honestly, I feel like it isn't raw slash hard enough. Like Billy didn't want to play his guitar with it. it actually, probably explains why he calls people people up to play it for him. So this song is about a guy that has a wide open road and is filled with nothing. This song is very interesting and my favorite version is off of Born Day in Paradise. So that was Slappy by Green Day. 
How does it hold up? It's underrated. If you like raw punk rock music, then this is for you. It shows that they're not afraid to jam out as hard as they can. Papal Lanterns is a nice song, but forgettable. Why You Want Him is a song that goes more personal, but that's good. Fire Night in Your Coffee Maker is a very fun is a very fun song to sing along to. Lastly, Knowledge is a song that is really fun to listen to. However, I prefer it being live. The vinyl pressing is nice, and it was limited. It is back in production. The artwork is pretty funny and cool, and I love that they all have all the lyrics of every song except Knowledge. I give the booklet a 6 out of 6 since there is no flaw with it. The actual EP, I decided to give a 9 out of 10. Knowledge isn't hard enough, and Paper Lanterns is forgettable, but still, a nice tracks at the least. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a good night.